We are the dedicated mobile marketing arm of IPG. Um, so we do full service um, marketing solutions for clients ranging from strategy, creative and content, all the way through to media, planning and execution, um, and everything that comes in between. So fully dedicated to the mobile space, but as we know, mobile in definition is growing, so we're branching out into other areas as that happens. So you made a very generous um, commitment of your time this year um, and these are asks that are, that are not easy to say yes to um, you um, so grace gracefully accepted you know co-chairing this event um, and that required a fair amount of planning um, and a fair amount of your time that you had to prioritize talk to us why you did it yeah and what it took to get us to mobilenomics and what are you seeing that you got out of it and what other people are getting out of it? Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So the, my involvement started with a discussion around sort of a, a POV on the industry and what do we need to be tackling this year in the mobile space. We've, we've had uh, numerous discussions over the years about the year of mobile and when are we going to get there. But we're at a point in mobile where we're really reaching a strategy crisis, not an execution crisis. But big brands are struggling with the strategy. Mobile has moved so quickly and they, they've they slowly been checking boxes, but now that it's the biggest source of where their consumers are coming from, they need to take a step back and rethink everything based on the impact of mobile. That premise is what we founded this um, the theme of this event upon is what do what do big brands need to do? What are those bigger topics? What are the meatier things that need to be tackled? And this whole two, three days has been structured around those kinds of themes, less on the tactical, more on the bigger picture strategy and how can brands really change their business dramatically based on what they're doing using mobile. You've been doing marketing and advertising for a while. You've seen a lot of the acceleration, frustrations, the misconceptions and the like. Um, where are you optimistic about with all of this that's gotten us to where we are you yeah. know, in 2015? But what, are you, what are you optimistic about in the next year? Yeah, I, so I think the, the most interesting thing, one of the themes again that's come out of the conference that really sums up your question is this notion of Mobile is not a channel, mobile is part of the consumer journey. And looking at it that way changes the role that a marketer uses the mobile capabilities and it touches on where I believe mobile is most impactful, which is around, around things closer to purchase driving people to retail, driving people to purchase. There's a whole area around loyalty um, that becomes much more accessible to marketers and brands than ever existed in the past. So I think that whole area of mid and lower funnel, if you consider the journey, that's where we're going to see the biggest impact. Um, and I think that's where we're most optimistic on the next year. So if a CEO or anyone in the C-level suite is watching this video, mm -hmm. What would be the message um, that you would give to them for them to think about in planning their business strategy for this year, for yeah. 2015? Not what we hope and holograms and all that crazy good stuff that yeah. you know, we know we're going to see in the future. Yeah. But when they're looking at trying to figure out where mobile fits in to yeah. their overall business strategy this year, yeah. what's the message that you would give to them? Yeah, uh, the, the first thing I would do is I would ask them to talk to their internal teams and find out how much of their customer interactions or web traffic, whatever it may be, is coming from mobile devices. They will probably be alarmed at how many people are coming from mobile versus any other device. Um, last year, the industry in general reached a tipping point where 52% of all traffic started coming from mobile versus desktop. So there has been this tipping point, um, and that's usually a great entry point into, okay, the first interaction most consumers are having with your brand is on mobile. Have you designed your, your customer experience with that in mind?